Today's episode is brought to you by Experian. Yeah, man, boost your credit score for free by heading over to Experian.com slash rogue, R-O-G-U-E, spell it right. You looked like you were almost joining me on that. I was, I was trying to. And, and, but then you, you wilted and you, you were like ashamed. What happened to your thumb? Bad credit. <laughs> Have you ever worn a clip-on tie? And when was the last time? Well into my 20s. Really? Yes. Like in what circumstance? Every circumstance. I had no idea how to tie a tie. <laughs> okay, I would have somebody tie a tie like at, at the, the. And you would store. keep it. Yes, yeah. I would just pull it off and I just know. leave it. And then when it got undone, you were just like, "What do I do?" That's what this I don't want to ask again. Now, nowadays, you just YouTube it. Oh yeah. Hello, past me. We're glad you made it. All right. When did you first learn to tie a tie? Oh, I don't know, no, today. Today? <laughs> Preparing for this episode. Was it just now? Well, here's the crazy thing. It turns out there are exactly three knots everybody should know, all of them super, super easy. One of the things we learned with the different knots is the more space is being used to make the knot, probably the higher up the short end is gonna go, yeah, right? It also depends on how long your torso is and just how long you want the tie to look. Now, ideally, you want the tie to go to about your belt. Yeah, like the tip is halfway between the top and the bottom. That's just the current style. So if you wanted something that looked a little more vintage, like if you had a vintage suit, you're gonna go Is that a vintage higher. thing? I yeah. thought that was a dork thing. Oh yeah, uh, yes, uh, okay. also that. <laughs> yes and, <laughs> also that. I think both of us only knew the four in hand. Yeah, right? I didn't even know what it was called. I, I, I Today, I found out that it's yeah. the four in hand. Not four in hand, like Four in, in hand. hand. You want your wide end to start uh, hanging out know, uh, much lower. And then basically you just what? You you do a loop around, mm -hmm. right? Just one lap. Yep. And then up. Yep. You're just drawing a circle and then tucking it down in there. I, I, I screwed that up. <laughs> what I like about this knot is that it sort of screams slacker, like don't really care. You And, and I like that it looks kind of good sloppy. Yeah. It's really quite simple. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, this is broken because we get everything cheap. From a box in my closet. <laughs> you tuck the skinny end through there to keep that in there. Yeah, and that keeps you from getting this. And a lot of people have this like tie clips. Low. Have tie clips to keep that from flopping around like that. Oh, tie clips, those are a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Wait, how did you screw that up? I don't know, man. What just happened? Right, loop around. Yep. See, it's, I'm, I'm thinking about it. There we go. Now up, up, now down. And now down. Loop around, up and down. It's like that Beavis and Butthead episode where they forget how to pee. It's like, you start <laughs> exactly. thinking about it, and it's then you exactly can't do it. like that. You're gonna go loop around, up and down. Oh, I think I got it, I think I got it. Is you that did. the right length? Yeah, there we go. Can you button yours? Uh, can you, oh man, can you button I, your top I, I will never button that top button. Yeah, I can't either. I got beef neck. You could get shirts that stretch and, yeah. and make it comfortable, but I, I don't even like the way it looks. Like, like, excuse me, can you show me to the George Lucas section of the store? You know, even if I'm going to give lip service to getting dressed up and being fancy, there's this little bit of protest. That's why I want to do the four mm. in hand. They're like, whatever, man. This is my zone of protest. See, if I if I button it up, it just starts cutting off the circulation and I poop. You turn into Mr. Right Mackey. Here. And I've got this like quato neck pouch thing happening, so yeah. You learned the half Windsor. I learned this just before filming and this is the knot that I always thought I was tying. What we were doing, I was always calling the half Windsor. Oh, it's but not it was the always the four in hand. Yeah, got or it. I, I would call it the double Windsor, the triple Lindy or yeah. <laughs> triple Lindy? I didn't know what it was. I've been going higher for this one. Okay. It's a little bit more of a complicated knot right up yeah. here. So. Okay, narrow end here, wide end here. And this is gonna vary for everybody. Sure. So you got the wide end over the narrow. Yep. Just loop it around, pull it back right here. Okay. And then come in and go down. Okay. And now with this part, you're gonna have- So, so you do a full lap. Yeah. Loop around down. And the underbelly of your tie is going to be exposed. Oh, that's here, right, because right? it's backwards. Okay. Yeah. You pull it out to the left like this. Loop around, down. Yep. Crisscross. And now over again. Oh, wrap it. There we go. Loop around, down, crisscross, wrap it. And then you go up and under like that. Yeah, uh, you got uh, it. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, well, you can kind of see the picture coming together at yeah. some point. Once once you wrap it around. Okay, so loop around, down. And then thread it Crisscross, wrap it. Okay. Oh, yay. Yeah, that looks a little more grown up. Here's the thing though. Most of these knots, 
real similar. If you're just looking at the knot area here, yeah, it's hard to tell the difference. Well, there are varying degrees, like the four in hand doesn't even make a triangle. It's sort of a loose, it's, 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 right. it's like a half square, mm -hmm. and the Windsor knot looks like it's trying to be a triangle, but not, not well, this really is a half committed Windsor. to it. It's got like a width right here, and it depends on your angle here and how tight this is here. Oh wait, did I? Oh, it actually causes a knot. It actually does, yeah. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. because the, the full Windsor I don't think does. Oh. We're gonna draw a triangle, okay? okay? So similar thing, we're gonna set up like this. We're gonna we're gonna crisscross. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking left side of the triangle, right side of the triangle, wrap it and tuck, right? Okay. So so we're gonna cross over, we're mm -hmm. gonna make the left side of the triangle by going up, and we're out in front. Okay. Now go backwards around to make the other side of the triangle, and then go in. Wait, oh, up and over. That's right, that's right. So you're making the outside of the triangle. Now, if you take a look, you've got your triangle made with the one side, the other side. Now, we're just gonna wrap it, to package it up like a Christmas present. Oh, like so? There you go. Okay. I bet you can figure out the rest from here. Yep. You just go, you just go up go underneath. Go around, up under, and thread and then, it through. And then thread it through. Yep, I'm, a I'm gonna be a little short. No, but I, th I think you got it. The full Windsor, I can't believe how easy it was. I spent all this time refusing to learn it because I thought it, would, it was gonna be hard. Oops. This is like, fashion origami. And then the nice thing is, just like the four in hand, mm -hmm. the full Windsor, when it goes out, it doesn't make a knot. Ah! This knot is considerably thicker, right? Yeah. Well, and, and that does change. That's why you definitely want to keep that tucked behind, because otherwise it looks kind of comically tiny. Yeah, see, that's, that, that's too short. So crisscross. Mm -hmm. You're going to go up to make the one side of the triangle. And if you just stop right here, mm -hmm. you can see that you've made one half of the triangle. Yep. And so now you're going to go which way? Under. That's right. And then back in to make the other side of the triangle. Back in, right, okay. That's right, here we go. You want straight edge triangle, straight edge triangle. Yeah, and then wrap, and then up under. And down to thread it through. There you go. Then you get a white collar corporate job. You serve corporate America, and you die an empty and unfulfilled existence. <sighs> there is a dodged bullet. <laughs> I'm a modern <laughs> The times you want to boost your credit scores, you don't want to wait months for the scores to eventually raise. With Experian Boost, you get an immediate feedback. You immediately raise your credit scores, and most people see a credit boost of about 10 points. Yeah, right now, most people are not getting credit for stuff they've already done, paying their water, gas, electricity, cell phone bills on time. Basically, you use Experian Boost. You say, hey, look at this. I'm paying my stuff on time. And the uh, wise old sage says, yes, call the vizier. And then the vizier says, Experian and then your credit scores goes up instantly. Yeah, and you can hear it like your mana bar refilling. <laughs> <laughs> and Experian is the first of the credit agencies to do this. Raise your credit scores instantly simply by getting credit for the things you're already doing. Go to Experian.com forward slash rogue and jump on it. Immediately boost your credit scores. 100% free, and of course that's Experian.com slash R-O-G-U-E. Keep us in business, man. Experian.com slash rogue. I had an assortment of ties already all tied, made. all hanging on hangers. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, that's so. It makes makes sense. I wasn't gonna go to the library. Well, and also it doesn't break it. You just loosen it, take it off, hang it on there. Yeah, and go to the library. Oh, to look it up. No, to their tie department. <laughs> yeah. Most public libraries offer services. Uh, excuse me, we have a dress code here, sir. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>